Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope everyone's had a very good weekend and a happy start to Monday with Bitcoin now over that monumental 50K price point. Always a good start to the week with news like that. In today's video, looking at layer one protocols and seeing how we can play the rotation game. It's something I've been doing more and more of, essentially playing musical chairs, trying to find the opportunities within the market. So if you enjoy the content today, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also turn on the post notifications as well. Things are moving so fast in crypto. You go to sleep one night, wake up the next morning, you had good intentions of buying that coin, it's now up 30%. This is happening on a regular basis, so make sure you have post notifications on for all channels you're interested in, not just mine. It's very important as the crypto markets are heating up massively right now. So here is that key piece of news. Bitcoin price breaks above $50,000 for the first time in 100 days. So the big orange coin, everyone's favorite, has now broke 50K. And this is from the first time since the middle of May. And with this, we're seeing other key metrics like TVL across DeFi also hitting new all-time highs. And this price move follows a sustained overall market recovery over the past few weeks after Bitcoin plunged to just below 30K in July. So it feels like we are in a kind of up only environment right now and the price just wants to go higher and higher. The fundamentals of Bitcoin are now matching up with the price slowly but surely. So as we look at the price chart here, you can see the previous level of resistance. The key area of 42K was broken through. We had a support resistance flip with a bit of a test down here with that candle wick, if you can just see that there. But now we're at another key level of around $50,000 and we have now broken through this and it'll be cool to see us come and test this as a support region once again. This, of course, is not guaranteed to happen. We may struggle at this level, but it's kind of feeling like we just want to push higher and higher right now. And there is quite a lot of air until we go up to the high 50K regions now of around 58 or $59,000. See quite a lot of traders getting very excited on Twitter now, suggesting that we will push up into this region across this next week. So there could be some massive moves across the markets as a result of this. Of course, best to play it, you know, both sides of the coin here, expect the worst and hope for the best. But it does now seem that most of the cash that was sitting on the sidelines in stable coins is re-entering the markets in a big way. So one of the metrics I've been looking at here is the TVL across all chains. And we can see we peaked out around May the 11th here. And the total TVL, I think, was in the region of about $150 billion, something like that. And then today, and over the last few days, we've actually broken this and now we're into all-time high territory for TVL across all of the blockchains, somewhere in the region of around $160 billion. And then this chart on the right-hand side shows you how dominant ETH was in this up to the start of, I would say, 2021. It was pretty much DeFi on ETH and ETH only. But then this has obviously changed quite a lot. And you can see from this diagram that the market really, you know, from month to month changes in a massive way. We had this period where Binance made up around 20% of all TVL around May. But nowadays it feels like Binance is kind of being avoided by people. We see the centralization issues, the issues with the Binance exchange crackdown on KYC. And the TVL across Binance is now around 11% only. So within a few short months, you had the explosion on BSC. And now that's retracted and we're seeing the TVL explode on other chains. The likes of Terra, the likes of Polygon, the likes of Solana. And we're starting to see Avalanche encroach on the picture as well. So this goes to show you need to have a very flexible approach to your crypto investments. Things can change that quickly that a bag that you have a lot of faith in one month Two months down the line, you may need to rotate that elsewhere into the growing and upcoming chains. So over on DeFi Llama on the chains over here, you can see the various blockchain, the number of protocols on this, and the total change in its TVL over the last seven days. You've got the total TVL amount and then the market cap to TVL ratio the lower the number, the better, as this would suggest a more undervalued blockchain. The likes of Terra and Polygon really catching the eye here. And these are two ecosystems that I've been investing in for some time. Uh, recently caught the Terra pump very nicely. If you go back and watch my video, 
just around, I think it was about 10 days ago, we caught that pre Terra move and it subsequently went from around a price region of like 17 bucks all the way up to around 30 odd dollars. So these are some good metrics to look at to see which layer one blockchains are potentially undervalued in terms of these ratios. Of course, this is only one way to look at it. There are various other ways to look at things as well, but I do use this as part of the rotation game that I'm playing on these L1s. I posted over my Patreon about this just last week, a simplistic strategy here to move funds from layer one protocols that are yet to reach their all time highs from the ones that have just hit their all time highs highs. So this image was put together by Solana Daily. I thought this was very good and shows you exactly what was happening. This was literally one week ago from today when we had Solana at a price point of around 64 bucks. It had just broken its all-time high by around 10%. We then saw Luna follow suit and push through its all-time highs. These now have far surpassed these numbers. Solana went up to like 80 bucks, Luna to around 33 bucks. And then we had ADA, which was 12% off the all-time high. This one has now broken all-time highs. And then we had these layer one blockchains down here, ETH, BNB, Matic, Atom, Phantom, and AVAX, all showing various percentage differences from their previous all-time highs. And these ones with the big discounts, AVAX was down 68% from all-time high, have been the ones that have performed best over this last week and have had significant upticks in their price points. So this is what I want to highlight in today's video, that when you can see that these metrics are out of line, clearly there was a narrative here that layer one blockchains were getting heavy investment. And that ball of money was just going to move from one layer one protocol to the next and so on and so forth. We've seen the ones that have heated up already, but with this data, we can also see the ones that were yet to come. And so when you've got big price moves in certain coins, you make those big gains, you can rotate them and compound them across other similar blockchains as well. So even if you were, say, a Solana Maxi, you could have played that big price move in Solana, rode that wave up, then rotated your bag into, say, an Avalanche, played that rotation well, gained a huge chunk in that overall value of your portfolio at that point, and then rotate it back into Solana. At the end of the day, you then got more Solana. So let's have a little look at some of these charts here. So Solana now 73 bucks. And what we saw was that Solana's previous all-time high back here in May was around 55 bucks here. We had obviously that capitulation event, everything went south. But then as things started to ramp back up, we saw that Solana ecosystem had some pretty huge bid down here. You can see the volume candles. And this was absolutely skyrocketing past its previous all-time highs and set in a new all-time high of $81.25. So new all-time high surpassed for Solana. If we just then look at Phantom down here, Phantom previously just one week ago was 61% off its all-time highs. It is now just 39% of its all-time high. And you can see from the chart here, it's trying to catch up here with a hockey stick of a chart here. And it looks like just a matter of time before this recaptures its previous ATH of around 94 cents. Then we have Avalanche, one of the biggest movers over the last week. So this one, as you can see, similar story. We had other blockchains putting in all-time highs. And then this one was gearing up nicely, but we hadn't had the big move yet. And then over the last week, it absolutely shot through the roof. And this one will break all time highs within the next couple of weeks, I believe, off the back of some fundamentally strong news with the fact that you now have a huge DeFi fund going live. They launched a $180 million incentivized scheme with the likes of Aave and Curve here two of the biggest DeFi protocols that you can now utilize on Aave and these will be incentivized as well. So you're gonna be paid to actually use these on the AVAX blockchain. And by having two of these biggest protocols, I think it just adds real weight to this and you're gonna see a lot of ETH DeFi degens moving across to AVAX which is kind of the story you've already seen here. This news was announced, people got very excited. Price went from around 19 bucks up to around $48. And you can see the volume profile down here, absolutely phenomenal. Now this chart is of Cosmos and this one again is starting to really gear up here. It hasn't gone full parabola just yet. It's around 30% off its previous all time highs, but same story once more. This one is getting that bid coming back in. Nothing substantial as yet, but this one will follow suit as the other layer ones are doing and recoup its previous all-time high price points. One that was not on the actual diagram back there was Polkadot. Again, this one, previous all-time high around $50, currently sat around 27, 28 bucks. 
looking rather cheap. The narrative for Polkadot has gone away for now, but it will come back towards the end of this year. So it's one of these things where you wanna place your bets early whilst this hasn't gone full parabolic and has not recouped the all-time high price level. You can rotate profits elsewhere into this one, sit, wait, and you're gonna see a nice, that would be a 42% move just to recoup previous all-time high levels. I think the Polkadot ecosystem is one of the better plays on the market right now. And another one, again, is going to be Matic Polygon Previous ATH, $2.68. Today, sitting at a price point of $1.64, quite a lot of room to move. That's roughly a 37% increase that you can still see before all-time high is met. And in comparison to the other layer ones, this one has not yet had that big move back upwards. So this from Coin98 with their stats and their insights, very good one to follow over on Twitter. They place things nicely in diagram format as well, so you can see the data in an easy to digest manner. So this is the top 10 layer one coins with the highest ROI over the last seven days. So clearly the ones that have already popped massively like AVAX, 137% ROI in just one week, probably not ideal to be going in and FOMOing to buy in that. It's already had its move. You wanna look where people have not yet placed their money. The likelihood is people will be doing similar. They're making insane gains in this area and they're looking for the undervalued projects to go and place their money into next. And with the layer ones, these are the lower risk ones. Clearly you could dive in if you want a bit of higher risk, go into the altcoins within these various categories. And it looks like Polkadot, ADA, Matic, BNB could all be areas that see sustained growth as there is a rotation from these protocols into these ones. I'm kind of for now chalking off BNB, too much FUD around this right now for me to go and place substantial bets. I think we're more likely to be highly rewarded with less risk on the likes of Matic, Cardano, and Polkadot right now, as these ones have not had their massive moves. Ada's had just sustained moves upwards, and I'd be looking more instead of investing into this as a layer one, looking for the projects within this, your likes of your Charlie threes, with that Oracle narrative as well, and maybe looking for some of the DEX plays within there, anything borrow lend related, that kind of stuff that we're seeing easy comparatives with other major blockchains. There's gonna be money to be made in all of these ecosystems. So this is where I would be looking to maybe rotate some money next. In terms of layer ones, my favorite here would be Polkadot right now, due to the fact you're gonna have dual usage of the DOT tokens. When the parachains start to go live, you'll be able to bond your DOT tokens for say an Akala, and then receive the Akala tokens in exchange for bonding your DOT. And I think that will be a major move to be played later on in this year. So as Cryptopathic has it on his Twitter bio, Musical Chairs Professor, that really is the aim of the game here. When you can rotate from one asset into a similar asset on a different chain, you know you're gonna get those echo pumps, you know people are doing similarly and moving that hot ball of money around. The layer one area is definitely one to have your eye on right now. There's still a few moves left to be made, but as you can see, this is already playing out. We've got the playbook in front of us. It's time to copy paste it. So later in this week, I'm gonna cover a few altcoins within these various ecosystems that I'm looking to add right now. Some I've already added, some I'm about to add, and we're gonna see how these fare over the coming months. It really is place your bets and wait time. We're seeing the markets just shoot up once again. It feels like that up only environment. Placing your bets, having patience and waiting for the gains to come to you is the way to do it right now, not chasing the big 100% movers already. If you enjoyed the content today, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.